not on him. So yes, it is. Oh, it's okay. One, two, one. Action. Action. Okay. Quiet on the set. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, uh, I, I thought that was uh, fantastic. I really liked that. Uh, that episode. Everybody, did you did you enjoy that? You know, having kind of meditated and thought about um, those. Uh, I'll give you a second. Um, those Bible stories for so many years to see them acted out that way was amazing. Just the last part. <laughs> I love you so much, Father. I know. <laughs> um, Como les gustó esa historia, um, me pareció muy bonito escuchar las, uh, las referencias a las historias bíblicas um, antiguas que, que sabemos. So yeah, sure, Nick. That was good. Okay, I'll take it. Um, so, uh, any, anything that stand out to anybody or any, any questions that you may have? Algunas preguntas o algo que uh, uh, les pareció... Uh, I didn't really understand Matthew's reaction when he was given the scenario of the child of Bible. His reaction to it, like why did he suggest what he did? Yeah, like um, show him the prescription. Right. So, yeah, the question is why, why did Matthew recommend what he did to the, who, what was the? The Praetor. 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 He's like a general, I guess. Él pregunta que por qué Mateo sugirió la sugirió lo que le dijo al general del general romano por qué le hizo esa sugerencia sobre la infractura. ¿Qué? Louder. You have to say it much louder. Yeah. Infrastructura. That's a new word for me. Infrastructura. <laughs> okay. Did you get it? Uh, I will. <laughs> okay. I'm sure you'll use it a lot. So, yeah. so, uh, so he, he asked, the first thing is he asked Matthew because Matthew, Matthew is kind of a, very intelligent, but he's also very simple. Le preguntó a Mateo um, porque Mateo es muy inteligente, pero también es muy simple. Right, like he, he doesn't care about people's feelings or, or politics or anything like that. A él no le importa las emociones de otra gente, um, ni las políticas. Right. So what he realized, lo que él realizó, um, based on the, the question the, the general, the, the praetor put to him, um, basada la pregunta que el general le hizo that if I was going to show somebody that I was better than them que si yo le iba a enseñar a alguien que yo soy mejor que ellos right, it has to be in more than just one area que tiene que ser más que una sola área right, so, so this, this praetor, this general was, was excellent in war Um, así que ese general en particular era muy excelente en la guerra. Right, basically in conquering and in, and in controlling people with an army. En controlar y uh, apoderarse de gente con una... With a military. Or military. What's the word you use? Army. Army. Ejército. Ejército. Oh, is that ejército? Yeah. Really? I hear that word all the time. <laughs> um, so, uh, so a, a great leader isn't just about controlling or governing. It's also about building up the people, like building a society and a culture, and that's the essence of infrastructure. Porque un gran líder um, no solo enseña que puede uh, dominar a la gente, pero también um, enseñar y reconstruir a la gente y a la sociedad. So, so a, a good leader needs to have a, a police force or a, an army that can keep the peace. Un buen líder tiene que tener um, una fuerza policial. 
o un ejército uh, que mantenga la paz. Right. Just like a parent, you know, your parents at home need to make sure that you're, you know, everybody's getting along. <laughs> Igual como sus padres en casa se aseguran que todos están llevando bien. But people need more than that. Pero la gente ocupa más que eso. Right? They, they want to live a happy life as well. Quieren vivir una vida feliz y al igual. They want to improve their life and succeed. Quieren uh, mejorar su vida y, y hacer y ser success. Mm -hmm. And have success. Mm -hmm. Éxito, tener éxito. Éxito. Um, uh, so, so, like a good parent or a good leader basically is trying to build up the home as well as keep peace and order in the home. Un buen líder o un buen padre um, tiene que... Build up. Yeah. Improve, improve the home as well as keep Mejorar peace. Mejorar... Mejorar el hogar, pero al igual mantener la paz. Right. And, um, and so that's what infrastructure is. In I know. Es Eso es lo que es. Infraestructura. What he said. Infraestructura. <laughs> Round of applause. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Um, yes, so, so that's why he suggested that. Por eso es que Mateo sugerió eso. And R.C., the praetor, thought it was brilliant. Y obviamente el general pensó que era algo brillante. So. Good question. Yeah, the, Did he the, mean that he was lost with sin or with an act of sin? Right, right. So, the que, the, another question? Yes. Yeah. So, él preguntó um, que cuando Mateo se bajó de, um, de la... De, uh, el, Came down from the wall or the ladder. Yeah. Century. Cuando bajó las escaleras um, y los niños le preguntaron, ¿estás perdido? Él pregunta que si estaba perdido en pecado o si estaba perdido actualmente en... En el tiempo. Right, right. So the, the children were obviously asking, you know, do you know where you're going? Are you lost in the city? Um, obviamente los niños estaban preguntando, ¿sabes dónde vas? ¿Estás perdido en la ciudad? Right. Like, you know, do you know how to get home, basically? Uh, básicamente preguntándole, ¿saben, ¿sabes cómo llegar a casa? Um, Matthew was, was responding that, not that he was lost in sin, but that he didn't know which way he should head in life, not in the city. Mateo no estaba respondiendo la pregunta que estaba perdido en pecado, pero que no sabía qué camino tomar en su vida. So if you think about it, Matthew has kind of a one-track mind. Uh, si piensan, Mateo tiene uh, una men mentalidad... Uh, one focus in his life. Está enfocado en una sola cosa todo el tiempo. Those are numbers. Y esos son números. Right, and collecting taxes. Y colectando impuestos. Right, that's what he's good at. Es lo que él... Sorry. No, take your time. Es lo que él... Oh, I can't say it. He is good at those things. I know, but the words, I'm tripping over my words. Um, it's a lot of it is <laughs> You intimidate her, everyone. You intimidate her. Hey. Oh, man. Um, I can't even believe my parents are not here this time. That's right, that's right. Es lo que él es bueno haciendo eso. I don't think I said that right, but we're going to go with it. Okay, so... Um, so now he doesn't know what to do with his life. Like he's never met anyone like Jesus. He's never seen miracles before. And so he's, he's confused about his direction in life. That's a good question. Notice, um, I don't remember the 
flower lady from Egypt. No, she's not uh, in the Gospels. Wasn't uh, it the leper who told everyone or showed up or, you know, still the bee? Right, right. Okay, so um, maybe it would be good. Uh, don't, don't try to ask that question. It's, it's, skill, kind of it's skillful. That I'll explain know. it, though. I'll explain what happened and why I think they, they played it out this way. Um, so we can imagine that Jesus healed a lot of people during his three years of public ministry. Podemos um, imaginar que Jesús curó a mucha gente durante los tres años de su ministerio público. Um, uh, obviously, some of them are recorded in the Gospels. Um, obviamente, algunos son uh, reportados en, en los Evangelios. But all of them weren't. Pero no todos fueron. But the, the way that they, sh like the, the, the healing of the paralytic was obviously from the Gospels. Um, so, el, el sanamiento del paralítico estuvo en el Evangelio. Uh, but it's clear that they showed him healing the leper, for, a leper first. Pero claramente enseñaron que um, sanó a un... Leproso. 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 Um, los directores primero pusieron um, el sanamiento del leproso para enseñar que él tenía el poder de, de sanar. So, if you think about it, when Jesus was preaching uh, in that house, porque cuando piensan, cuando Jesús estaba predicando en esa casa, if he's never performed a healing before, si nunca... How did the people who lowered the man down through the roof know he could heal? So to help with the storyline in the series, right, they created this Egyptian woman <laughs> that not only witnessed the first healing, que no solo fue testigo del primer sanamiento, but whose friend was paralyzed and needed healing too. So. Pero que su amigo estaba paralítico y necesitaba ser sanado. Right. So it was just uh, an addition for the sake of helping the story play out. Así que nada más era una adición a, a cómo iban a contar esa historia. But it's certainly possibly, possible that it happened that way. Ahora puede ser posible que de esa manera fue que sucedieron las cosas. I was just wondering if that changed anything because the leper just got healed from his sins and then he goes off and then but the one thing he just said is not to anybody but then he did Well well in, in this storyline the leper didn't tell anybody. Yeah. It was the woman who saw him get healed who initiated the next healing. You know. So yeah. But we do know from the gospels there are there were people who Jesus healed when he told them not to speak of it, and they did go and speak of it. But it wasn't necessarily this okay. first man. I, I, I thought that was... Well, we don't, yeah, we don't know. Yeah, yeah. Um, so Jesus, um, before he healed the leper, uh, did anyone screw up and get that through? Was that the best part of the meeting? No, no, that's actually true. Yes, he did. Um, so, él pregunta que... Um, Jesús dijo que él uh, creció en Egipto y él pregunta si eso es verdad y si sí, es verdad. Right. So when Jesus was two, uh, Mary and Joseph took the, the young child Jesus to Egypt. Cuando Jesús tenía dos años, María y José um, llevaron a, a, Jesus, a al, al niño Jesús a Egipto. Yeah. So he lived there for probably around 10 years or so. Así que vivió ahí más o menos diez años. Yeah, we, we don't know how long. No sabemos cuánto. Right. But uh, he did go to Egypt because the angel 
told Joseph to take Mary and, and the child Jesus to Egypt because Herod was trying to kill him. Pero sí fueron a Egipto porque el ángel le dijo a José que se llevara a María y a Jesús a Egipto porque Herodes estaba matando a los niños. Well, technically, he didn't preach, but yes. Oh, yeah, exactly. yeah, when he was in the temple. Yeah. Um, when he was in the temple when he was 12. Right. So. He obviously came back at, before that happened. We, we really don't know when they returned yeah. to Nazareth. We have no idea. From, from Egypt. We don't know. Right. How so old was he? Jesus probably could not have stayed in Egypt more than he had in Egypt. More than 10 years. Yeah. Yeah. It had to have been 10 years or less, probably 8 to 10. Obviously, Jesus would have learned languages very yeah. easily, so that's not an issue. <laughs> He's the word of God. He can speak any words. Yes? Um, so, like, back then, why did people um, leave the Lord's Prayer this morning? Sorry, a little louder? Okay. So, like, back then, um, why did people, like, take the letter from Moses and Parsons? Oh, that's a good question. Um... Él pregunta que en esos tiempos por qué la gente odiaba a los leprosos. Uh, the first thing was uh, leprosy was a deadly disease. If you got it, you would you would die. Uh, lo primero que hay que notar es que um, uh, I'm sorry, I used it as a verb, but now I don't. Oh, try now to it's think a noun. A, yeah. It's a noun. How do you say leprosy? Lepra. 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 Okay. Um, la, uh, la enfermedad lepra de la lepra es um, si alguien no tenía era seguro que ellos morirían um, they also didn't know how it was tr um, transferred like they, did, they knew it was contagious but they didn't know how um, y tampoco no sabían cómo se transfería esa enfermedad sabían que era contagiosa pero no sabían cómo se transfería So uh, in, in Israel, there was a law that if you were a leopard, you couldn't live around normal people. Um, in Israel, había una ley que um, si tenía la enfermedad de, de la lepra, no podía vivir cerca de um, la gente sana. Right, and if, if you remember during COVID, they said you had to keep six feet apart. Y si se acuerdan, durante COVID, decían que tenían que mantenerse más de seis pies Well, they, they had a law that you had to, a leper had to be at least four steps away from people. And if they had to come around healthy people, they had to either wear a bell that they rang, or they had to announce that they were a leper publicly, or they could get stoned. Y si se acercaban a alguien, um, o tenían que acercarse a mucha gente, Tenían que cargar con una campana o anunciar que tenían esa enfermedad, um, porque si no iban a ser pedrados. So, of course, when, when COVID was just kind of starting, uh, you know, in, in the United States. Um, y cuando COVID apenas empezaba en los Estados Unidos. Right. And even to this day, people are still very much afraid of COVID. Y aún hasta, hasta ese día, mucha gente le tiene miedo a COVID. Now, now, COVID is not nearly as deadly as, like, leprosy or anything. Ahora, um, la enfermedad de COVID no, no es tan... Um, It's not as dangerous. No es tan peligrosa como uh, la enfermedad right. de la lepra. Like, not nearly as many people die getting COVID as would die if they got leprosy. <laughs> no. La gente que, que se enferma de COVID... Hold on, I'm trying to figure out how to phrase it. La cantidad de gente que moriría de COVID no es ni cerca a lo que la gente de la enfermedad de lepra moriría. Well, so everybody dies if they get leprosy, but only a small percentage of people would die if they got COVID. So, so solo un porcentaje pequeño moriría si tuvieran COVID. No, sorry, backwards. Um, Only a small percentage. You said it right. Yeah, I said it. Sorry, I was. Yeah. Only small. Yeah. Solo un porcentaje pequeño moriría si si contrajeran COVID. 
pero si contrataban la enfermedad de la lepra, era seguro que moriría. Right. Um, so if people were this, are this afraid in this country because of COVID, imagine how much more they would be afraid of a real deadly disease. Um, si la gente ahorita tiene miedo um, de la enfermedad de COVID, solo imagínense el miedo si eh, vivíamos en un tiempo donde todavía existiría la enfermedad de la lepra. Does that make sense? So it's, it's just people it's are... Treatable. It's treatable. It's Nowadays treatable. it's treatable, yes. But there's still people that con contract leprosy, like in India, that's what Mother Teresa used to yeah. work with. Yeah, but it's, it's we, they found a, a treatment and, or and a cure. Is what it's for. Right, is it a cure now? I believe so. Yeah, I think they found a cure to it, but that's... Is it an antidote? No, it's not an antidote, it's a cure. But it's, it's only in the, the last 100 years, 200 years. Yeah, yeah, it's only kind of the last couple of hundred years that we discovered a cure. Yeah, um, hoy en día, si alguien tiene esa enfermedad de la lepra, hay, um, hay tratamiento y hay una cura para eso. Good question. Anything else? It's getting a little late. One, one thing that I've read about, well, I heard Jonathan Moody, the, the gentleman that plays Jesus, um, when he was filming this particular scene, um, with the healing, he said he um, he had to remove himself completely and and walk away because he said he just didn't feel worthy to, to say any of these words. Mm -hmm. um, the director and the, the whole crew had to wait until he Where's collected himself right. that he would be able to go on with the scene. Isn't that powerful? Powerful. Yeah. Very powerful. So Meg dice que um, uh, Jonathan Ruby, que es el, el actor que hace el papel de Jesús, que cuando hizo esa escena, um, él tuvo que parar, um, uh, tuvo que parar de hacer, de, de, de hacer las líneas y uh, salir de donde estaban, porque él no se sentía digno de decir las palabras que Jesús dijo. Entonces, todos tenían que esperar a que él estuviera listo um, y para poder terminar esta escena. The, um, <coughs> the thing you have to remember about the, the healing of the paralytic. Um, lo que tienen que acordarse de um, el sanamiento del paralítico. Is that the, the reason <coughs> Jesus healed the paralytic. Es la razón por cual Jesús sanó al paralítico. Was not because of the faith of that woman. No fue por la fe de esa mujer. That was part of it. Esa fue en parte. Right. But it was to prove that he had the power to forgive sins. Pero era para probar que él tenía el poder de sanar los pecados. Um, and I think <coughs> in your own lives, whenever you get the chance to go to confession, y en sus vidas cuando tengan la oportunidad de ir a confesión. Think about how beautiful it is when, when the priest says, I absolve you from your sins. Piensen en qué tan lindo es cuando el padre les dice, yo los absuelvo de sus pecados. Right, how you, you know and you believe it, it takes away your sins. Que ustedes saben y creen en, en el que él les um, los salva de sus pecados. Because the priest was given this power by Jesus himself. Porque el sacerdote fue dado ese poder por Jesús mismo. Father, can you just elaborate on the phrase, the Son of Man? Yeah. Um, so Jesus calls himself the Son of Man, obviously in this episode, but in the Gospels. Um, Jesús se refiere a él mismo como el, el hijo del hombre. Del hombre. Yeah. Uh, so this was a phrase used by the Old Testament prophets. Y esa era una frase usada, para, uh, usada por los profetas del Viejo Testamento. Uh, they would use it when they were talking about the coming Messiah, the coming Christ. Y lo usaban cuando platicaban sobre el Mesías que venía. One of his titles was the Son of Man. Y uno de sus títulos era el Hijo del Hombre. Uh, what's, what's in, one of the reasons 
Jesus wanted them to use this title for him. Y una de las razones por cual Jesús quería que usaran ese título para él is so that people would be convinced he was a real human. Es para que la gente creyera y fuera convencida de que él era un, un humano de verdad. Right, because th think about it for a moment. Porque pienso, piensen en esto por un momento. Th this man comes into the world. Este hombre viene al mundo. And he claims to be God. Y él clama ser Dios. And then he proves that he's God y luego prueba que él es Dios. By, by performing all these miracles. Por haciendo todos esos milagros. He even dies and rises from the dead. Y aún muere y resucita de, de, de entre los muertos. Now, if you met this man, you would think he's got to be God. Y si ustedes um, conocieran ese hombre, dirían, tiene que ser Dios. Or he's Superman and he's from another planet. <laughs> O es Superman y viene de otro planeta. Right, but Superman wouldn't lie about being God, so. Pero uh, Superman no mentiría sobre ser Dios. Um, so, so Jesus is clearly God, so his disciples are going to believe who he really is. Pero Jesús es en verdad Dios, así que sus discípulos van a creer en quién es él. But they may have a problem believing that he was a real man. Pero tal vez tengan un problema en creer que él sea un hombre verdadero. Because if you notice Shmuel, uh, the the um, the rabbi, Shmuel, 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 the Pharisee. Yeah, that's a good. Um, porque si notan a Shmuel, el fariseo, right. he had a difficulty believing that God could appear in human form. Um, él tenía dificultad creyendo que Dios apareciera. En una forma, uh, humana. Now, he just had a problem thinking that God could appear in a human, in a human form. Appear. Él tenía el problema en que, um, él, que Dios apareciera como humano. Imagine how much more difficult it is to believe that God is actually a human. Not just appearing, but a real human. Y ahora, la dificultad que él tuviera si él aceptara que Dios es humano, no solo, no solo parece humano, pero es humano. And that's what Jesus is trying to teach everyone. Y eso es lo que Jesús um, está tratando de enseñarles a todos. But he's really God. Él es en verdad Dios. And he's really the son of man. Y él es en verdad el hijo de hombre. Anything else? Your problem? Okay, so, so basically, um, the first miracle, it, I, can, I can relate it to um, like the gospel of um, uh, Matthew, where um, the, the ten men are just chilling and, and they ask forgiveness. The, so the ten lepers, right? Yes, yeah, so why is there only just like one man and not like the ten others with that one man? With, right. With the man right there. Right. So, so basically, Well, he, he did say thank you, yeah. right? He was clearly grateful. Yeah, but like it doesn't show him coming back for. Mm -hmm. Right, right. So, so the the question is, um, is is this healing of the leper uh, taken from the healing of the ten lepers that we read in the Gospel of Matthew? So la pregunta es que si um, ese sanamiento del leproso es tomado del Evangelio de Mateo. Uh, es tomado de, del Evangelio de Mateo cuando él sanó a los diez leprosos. So clearly it's not the same story. So no es la misma historia. Right. It's not even trying to be the same story. Y no, y no está tratando de ser la misma historia. So the directors are merely using this first healing of a leper to set the stage for his power to heal. Um, los directores de, de la serie nada más están usando a ese leproso para um, para, para mostrar um, que él tiene el poder de, de sanar. Right. Uh, so, since they're doing that, they're going to take some of the same things he said in other healings and apply them in this one as well. Así que uh, para mostrar eso van a tomar 
lo que él hizo en otros sanamientos um, y aplicarlo de esa manera. Okay. So it's basically they're just um, you know if if Jesus we know when Jesus healed the ten lepers what he said to them what he'd probably say the same thing to others. So sabemos que cuando um, Jesús Sabemos lo que Jesús dijo cuando sanó a los diez leprosos, así que nos imaginamos que dijo lo, lo mismo cuando, um, cuando sanó al, al único leproso. We good? Wrap it up for tonight. I have one, just one question. Okay, so, you want, what, did somebody have something? I just want to say. Something. Yes, please. Because I can see that it's a little bit confused for the kids, you know, because they're thinking about the gospel and the movie. Right. That it's very important that this is a movie, you know, it's something, right. something artistic. Yes. They're just going to be maybe get some of the things, not everything, and change it because they have, right. you know, the authority to do it. Yeah. yeah. Artistic, li artistic, artistic license. Yes. Exactly. But the gospel, right. yeah. <laughs> I wasn't going to say it. She was I making know. me <laughs> License. Right. Yes. yes. And that's, we always have to rem rem remind ourselves of that whenever we're watching anything like this. Yeah, but they're doing a good job. Because don't doubt about what the gospel says. Right. You are just because it's a little different. Yeah. 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 And so that's what the director always says. Is yeah. Open your Bible. I want, I'm giving you this so that you'll open your Bible. Yeah. <laughs> Am I translating all You don't have to. <laughs> but so, I do have a question oh, about next, next month. Oh, yes, next month. Okay. So next month, it, the chosen episode is oh, scheduled during Holy Week. Right. It's by Wednesday. Can we still meet? I don't see why not. I think it would be kind the, of... Which good. episode is it? I think it's the calling of Matthew. No, uh, no it's oh, the it secret meeting. Oh, it's Nicodemus. Yes, it's good. Yes, Sorry. Yes. <laughs> That's excellent. Yeah. About baptism. It's, a, it's all about the secret meeting. Yes, and, and of course Jesus teaches about baptism, so that's that's great. It fits. That's perfect. So, yeah, very good. So I think I'd like to. Yeah, Wednesday of Holy Week before Holy Thursday for the Trinity. So that would be wonderful. We'll be having mass at six, like five, like we had regular mass. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Let's stand. I'll give you a blessing. Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you. May he turn his face toward you and give you peace. He who is Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Go in peace. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Gentlemen, if you could help with the chairs, please.